Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you a really cool side dish. It's roasted orange cauliflower with lemon and cumin. It's going to have somewhat of a South Asian kind of uh, flavor or taste similar to that of gobi and um, it's going to be gorgeous with this orange cauliflower that I picked up at Harvest Barn Country Markets. Make sure you check out my review on this stuff. Fantastic, right? How cool is that? Now it tastes the same as a white cauliflower, it just has a really cool color, okay? It also has, is a little bit higher in nutrition in vitamin A. It carries more beta carotene because it's orange. Pretty darn cool, right? Anyhow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use about half of this cauliflower tonight and half of it for another recipe. So I haven't washed it yet. You don't wanna wash the whole thing and then have it be just sitting, okay? It's going to go bad quicker. So just rinse it right before you're gonna use it and I'm going to actually cut it in half first and then rinse it. Now everything on cauliflower is edible. The stems, the, um, the trunk, the leaves, everything, okay? But tonight I'm just going to be using the florets and maybe a couple chunks of the stems. Now this is what it looks like when you cut it inside. You can even see it's orange there too. Beautiful stuff. So I'm gonna wash this off. So I'm just gonna break the stems off easily and I'm going to cut the bottoms of them off and trim the leaves. The leaves, if you put them in there to roast with the rest of everything, it's just going to burn up and they're gonna be a waste. Um, this way, at least if you don't use them tonight, you can even put them in the freezer and use them for future soups and stews, which might be what I do, but I am gonna be making some greens this week and I might just mix it in with the greens. Okay, so I'm gonna to toss everything into a roasting pan here and I'm going to mix everything in there. So I'm just going to use these um, stalks I'm going to cut them in half if they're really especially large. There they go. And I'm going to just break these, this up into florets. It's easy just to break apart like this once you cut the stem apart. They kind of just separate themselves. If the florets are especially big, just cut them in half or threes. Okay, I'm going to drizzle them generously with olive oil. I'm also going to toss this all together so don't fret. I'm going to use the juice of one lemon. Maybe half a lemon. This is an especially juicy lemon. Make sure the pits don't go in there. I zested my lemon to begin with so that I could add a little bit of zest. But also, when I just use the juice of a lemon, I don't want to waste that zest on it by just throwing it out. So I will zest the lemon first before I juice it. I'm going to freshly crack some pepper. Generously sprinkle this, um, uh, maybe about a teaspoon, good teaspoon. I like mine peppery. A little bit of sea salt, some of my lemon zest that I had zested, maybe a teaspoon, and a sprinkling of cumin. Now I'm just going to toss this all together and I'm preheating my oven to 400 degrees. So that's what they look like. Okay, into the oven at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. I'm going to check them in 20 and show them to you. All right, let's take a look at this cauliflower. All right. Now this has been going for about 20 minutes. It's probably, it's halfway there, and I'm just going to turn it so that it's gonna evenly roast. Gorgeous. You wanna get a nice little bit of charred bits on there. Once it's done, we'll just test it for knife tenderness just to see how we're doing. Yeah, we're about halfway there. All right, back in the oven it goes. All right, this cauliflower looks nearly done. I'm gonna just check it now. It's been another 20 minutes. You wanna make sure that those, um, stalks are nice and tender. I'm going to let it go maybe another five minutes. Um, it looks nice. I'm going to turn them over so that a different parts get charred. A little bit more. I like that little bit of charredness and it could use with just a tiny bit more tenderizing. And I'm going to check these other um, stalks. Those are going to be pretty good too. All right. So here's what they look like after 40 minutes. I'm going to go maybe another five minutes. Perfect. This cauliflower is done. Let's check for doneness. Oh yeah, it's perfect. I'm glad I left it another five minutes. Now let me show you how gorgeous this is. So beautiful. Little bit of charredness. Awesome. I can't wait to try it. The golden orange of the cauliflower that we had today was really accentuated with this way of roasting too. So I'm going to try a little bit for you here. It's hot as all get out. It's nice and tender. I can smell that lemon and the cumin. Gorgeous. A little bit of the roasted uh, bits on the top of the curd of the cauliflower. So nice. Mmm. Oh, outstanding. Boy, that's good. I'm going to
going to take out just one of these little stalks and see how that turned out. Because don't forget, the whole thing is edible. Mm. Nice. Different texture, slightly different flavor, but you can tell it's from the same vegetable. Boy, those are good too. What an easy side dish. It probably only took about five minutes to get everything prepared, including cracking up your own pepper. The cauliflower is gorgeous. Let it speak for itself. Just some basic seasonings on it. Just cumin, salt and pepper, a little bit of lemon. Gorgeous. You could have also used lemon wedges in here to um, give it more aroma and a little bit more flavor as well. After you squeeze that lemon on there, you could have just thrown in the shell the, um, the remaining uh, peel. It would have been nice too. Gorgeous. You can do this. You can serve it alongside chicken, turkey, pork, beef, vegetarian dishes, whatever. This is a lovely, lovely dish, and I hope that you try it too, okay? Make sure you check out Harvest Barn Country Markets for really unique and awesome fresh produce at harvestbarn.ca, and that's it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cookingwithkimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cookingwithkimberly, youtube.com slash cookingwithkimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and interact with us. Subscribe. Let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen. Eat deliciously. Bye.